Why does everything exist? This video is the final sequel to what is gravity and what is space. Dealing with these questions brought us here to the final question of why does everything exist. By asking what creates what, we already extracted the core truth out of our current paradigm. Space, time, matter and energy exist, but why? This creating entity is the target of our search. A search that cannot be done by the mind, though. Imagine a being that sees these five fingers, but not the complete hand. It also never saw a hand before, and it doesn't understand what a hand is. Each finger is a separate entity. Now when the fingers pick up something, like a glass of water, this perceptually restricted being will recognize a coincidental and miraculous harmony in the fingers' movements. To the being, it seems as if the fingers would mysteriously be connected, but without ever being able to prove it. Uncovering the bigger picture removes the mystery of the connected fingers and reveals that the reality of these five fingers is actually being one hand. The same thing is happening to human beings as we identify as separate entities. Most people recognize a strange and mysterious connectedness to others. Going deeper into this recognition will reveal that our connectedness manifests in things like coincidence, imagination, dreams and empathy. Going even deeper will reveal that there is no coincidence, only misunderstood synchronicity. Also imagination and dreams are just your way of creating your everyday. At this level, empathy is not just a word anymore, it is an accepted connection from you to others. It is only through the awakening from separation that one can remove the mystery from our human being's connectedness. By knowing that there is no separate me, only consciousness. I think that a lot of people already heard words like this, but it doesn't catch their interest. If you think all this is spiritual and mystical talking, let me tell you that the full understanding of these words will remove all spirituality and mystery out of your life forever. But how do you know what consciousness is? The only way you can know what consciousness is, is by seeing through the illusion of yourself. Here's an attempt of explaining. Take a look at the car and ask, what is the most important thing that makes the car's engine work? Of course, there are hundreds of answers, but one of them is, the most important thing is fuel. Without fuel, it wouldn't work for sure. This answer is wrong. The correct answer is, the most important thing is the emptiness inside of the tank that enables the fuel to be in it. Now, what is the most important thing that makes a human being work? The brain or the heart? No, it is consciousness and that is the ability of being aware. You need to listen to these words with more than just your mind or you will not understand it. The mind is that which covers up consciousness in the first place. And don't ask me to provide any evidence. I can only ask questions that make you find your own evidence. Where do you think is your consciousness? Your felt sense of yourself? Is it in your head, where the brain is, the eyes or the ears? What if your eyes were in your knees? Where would be your consciousness then? We just think our consciousness is in our head, but it could be everywhere else. It doesn't have a location. Every single being has some kind of consciousness, depending on nervous systems and sense organs. Even an ant will recognize your finger if you put it in the way. Even a flower recognizes the sun. We human beings are limited to specific ranges of perception, for example, regarding light or sound. We are just looking at the world through a small and milky window. How can we think that we perceive reality? What if we could see like an eagle, smell like a dog or hear like a cat? But if, if your senses and your brain capacity were unlimited, 
then we would perceive everything everywhere. Your consciousness wouldn't any longer be in your head. It would be everywhere. There wouldn't be any separate me anymore. No differences could be made between human beings. We would all be the same as we already are. So everything derives from oneness. How are different atoms created? Why do they interact or communicate in mysterious ways? Same questions apply to large scales or universe. How is it created? What are possibilities? What are things that haven't manifested yet? What creates everything? Do you remember the five separate fingers that were one hand? Do you remember human beings feeling separate although they are one consciousness? The answer is the same with everything. Everything is created through oneness. In oneness all mysteries and questions fall away. There is no need to talk about connectedness or separation anymore since these are only words. It is oneness that creates itself and in the creation of oneness consciousness is watching change and that is you. I want you to know that there is no desire in me to convince you of something. Words can do that anyway. If you are willing and interested though, there might be something in between my sentences for you to find within yourself. At this point, if you feel like missing a link, start again at the beginning or somewhere completely else. Feel free to refresh your understanding by going back through the journey we made so far.